Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency Rigiji, all leaders present, governors, senators, members of National Assembly, now at water or bombet, God is good. And all the time, uh, first of all, we want to come and bring our condolences to the family of Senator Hilali Sigei, Pamoja na Mama Yunis, Mama Tungependa Kuafariji, na Kuambia Kwamba, Tunawafikiria Sana Wakati Hu, na Tunawaombea Sana. Kutoka ile siku huu msimba ulitokea, kama wabunge tumekuwa tukiombea familia, tumekuwa tukiulizana mambo inaendelea vipi, na tumekuwa hata tukipigia Senator Sigei Simu kumulizia hali koji hapa bomet. Tunawaombea na mungu atatembea nanyi. Kuna kitu kimoja bishop ameongea hapa leo, kwamba a father is a pillar. And I want to confirm myself that a father is a great pillar to a family. And a father's cover is so important. And if you want to know how important a father's cover is, the minute you remove one, that is when you see the exposure. But you have a father in heaven who will not leave you nor forsake you. In difficult times, as you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, just like the psalmist said, God will be on your side and he will grant you comfort, he will grant you peace, and he will grant you strength through this journey. Senator Sigei, and Joyce, you give me a minute because I have worked with Senator Sigei, maybe more than many people here. We have worked together for a long time. So I come in first as a very good friend of Senator Sigei. Senator Sigei, when I look at your life, it almost tells me who your father was very hard working. If you want to know the success of the party, that was Jubilee. The success of the party, that is the UDA party in Kenya Kwanzaa. One of the pillars of that success in the legal side and in many respects in training has been Wakili Senator Sigei. So I want to tell the people of Bomet County, you are a very blessed county because of having a leader like Senator Wakili Sigei. And Senator Wakili Sigei, allow me to give accolades to your mother and to your father for raising a great son in you. There is not a single day that UDA required a legal matter to be done. And we called on you and you said you were too busy to do that work. Many leaders here in parliament are very clear on that issue. CS Chilchil would attend to that fact together with the Honorable Mulkomen and the majority leader that Senator Sigei walked the journey. When there were days we spent the whole night in the office, Senator Sigei would be among the few people who would be counted with a lot of strength pushing the party agenda. And Senator Sigei, when you came to the party and you said now you wanted to become a senator, the first person to object to that was the, was the SG herself. I said, no, you cannot become senator right away because we need workers here who must push the vision to the end. Eventually, we had a discussion and I told you, Senator Sigei, do me a favor. Make sure you have the support from the people of Bomet so that you don't embarrass the party because you are seen as one of the big mentors within the party. I want to thank the people of Bomet for voting in Senator Sigei as your senator for me and for the party of the UDA, because we needed him to succeed. I want to say, Mama Yunis, we are praying for you. We know that your children will hold you. Senator Sigay together. With your brothers and sisters, I have seen you and nine of you. Hold your mother. Remember her. Together with the family.
uh, viongozi wengine wote tukiongozwa na honorable speaker of the senate uh, cabinet secretaries uh, mps wetu watu wa bomet hamjambo hamjambo tena asante sana naitwa